thanks for joining us. I'm here with uh, Ruben Garcia Paez. He is uh, the head of distribution for Iberia and LATAM at Colombia 3 Needle. Hi, Ruben, how are you? Hi, Anna, thanks. We're really well. He is uh, uh, leading the working group uh, that is uh, working <laughs> on an issue that I think that is really important in these uh, ESG uh, matters right now. And, and specifically, the, the title of the working group says it all, no? elephants in the room. I mean, there's someone that we all know, something that we all know uh, have to have a resolution on, and, and we need to be uh, clarifying some matters here, and especially on the sovereign bonds in, for, for emerging markets and, and the purpose that the social bonds or the ESG bonds uh, uh, can, can add to this, uh, well, to this matter. So, Ruben, let me ask you, uh, and first of all, let me tell you that your, your work here in this working group is, I've been reading the results and, and it's very impressive, but please tell us uh, uh, what has been uh, the, the main achievements or the main um, uh, bullet points that you will uh, highlight from the work of this working group. Thanks, Anna. Well, look, um, you know, we, we started um, the social bond approach at our company many years ago with the UK social bond, which was the first uh, approach um, from our house. And, and we're extremely excited to see uh, all the big developments um, that lately are happening in specifically in the um, in the social bond space, as, as you know, um, the um, green or environmental bonds have taken always the lead and one of the big discussions here in our group is how can we um, as an industry so both issuers uh, regulators uh, can increase uh, that demand into the social bond space um, one of the things we've been discussing is how can you frame um, you know uh, the codes of best practice uh, the market has been using the ISC ICMA ring around principles, but the truth is that the trend uh, to invest in, in social policy, it's unstoppable. At the same time, green has taken all. So how do we you know, make sure that uh, you have social co-benefits in those green bonds issuance? How can we make the social bond um, market bigger? And, and it's not easy because obviously you need to um, have the specific metrics um, and you know, and, and like you were mentioning, and um, you know, in emerging markets, for example, this is something pretty new. We have seen some some good examples, like in Chile or Ecuador, where we saw um, you know social bonds for housing, but still uh, very very you know very incipient. So we need to make sure as an industry how how we can give more comfort, more education, more reporting, uh, so that we can make sure that those bonds are effectively investing in, in social projects. Yeah, and there, there is one uh, uh, part of the paper that I find uh, quite revealing, and it's when, when you talk about uh, what to improve and, and what to avoid, no, talking about regulation and reporting, specifically reporting, which is a, a, a very important uh, issue when you frame those type of works, no? Uh, absolutely. I think one of the key, um, key factors for success in, in the space social bonds is really how you can metric or measure um, you know that those um, those that allocation of capital is really having a, a social effect um, in, in this particular space there's been I think a lot of, uh, of development in the last years with the social bond principles um, and sustainable bond guidelines issued in 2017 by ICMA but still you know you're absolutely right that there's I think there's a lot to do on on education from both mm -hmm. for the issuers, um, but but also on the metrics. Um, there's good, out there some good examples of of reporting. How can you be um, reporting data well? Uh, I'm just I have I'm Spanish, so I have the Caixa mm -hmm. bond uh, and you know reporting, which is extremely good. We we really need to improve how we measure and and how we can uh, measure those metrics and then obviously report it uh, transparently. So both issuers and investors have that comfort. Okay, thank you. It's a, the, the, there is a lot of discussion and, uh, around all this and I expect and, and I want to, to 
make a call to, uh, to, to everyone that's watching us that in Oxford we will be uh, in September able to, to go further on the discussion and also on the on the conclusions. So let's invite everyone who is seeing us to, to join us in, in Oxford. And, and once again, uh, uh, Ruben, uh, thank you for your time. And, and I don't know if you, have, uh, if you want to say any conclusion. Uh, on the other hand, well, this uh, the, the whole uh, working groups, so all the working groups are making really big progress on the on the paper. So I really expect that the the Oxford Congress will be will be really insightful. Absolutely, I, I really appreciate uh, this effort. Uh, I think uh, the Oxford Congress is putting together a lot of different um, issuers, um, market players, uh, views, and it, it's a moving target. We obviously we were talking about education, um, getting education into the uh, issuers, getting getting. Um, you know, more focus on this topic. So I think um, we'll have a very interesting um, session and there's a lot to do, you're right. So that's okay. what we're here for. Thank okay, you. Well, let's join everyone in Oxford and thank you again for your time. Thank you very much. Anna.